Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this rechargeable LED eyeglasses bracket headband interchangeable magnifier. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description to this on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So these are magnifiers that you can wear on your head to do like jewelry work, scroll sawing, sewing, you name it. Anything where you have detailed work, these will help you see. This says magnifications of lens, single plate lens magnifications are 1x, 1.5x, 2x, 2.5x, and 3.5x. Magnifications are marked in the middle of the lens. It says strong or gentle light source for, I think that's your choice, I think is what it means. So it says two LED lights, and these are the field of views for each of the magnification levels. This says the lens has a hardness of H5. The movable lens slot is used to adjust the focal length between the lens and the object and the distance between the lens and the eyes. It says the lens part and the bracket part adopt internal external meshing structure to avoid falling off in time of viewing and reading. Both parts can be repeatedly turned over when they are not used temporarily with solidness and durability. The nose bridge holder adopts stainless steel soft glue gluing secondary injection molding. So I think this is saying the bridge holder is stainless steel and some kind of a prior rubber. This holder can be adjusted freely according to the nose bridge shapes of different users. It says the previous version of this magnifier adopted button batteries which has low capacity short durability and needs frequent replacement however this upgraded version adopts three AAA batteries therefore battery capacity is greatly increased to realize battery life 20 hours longer than previous version it says the lens angle and led light source irradiating angle can be adjusted to ensure accurate irradiation of light source on the surface of the viewed object making it more convenient in use the last one's kind of covered up i'm not sure what that says but we'll take a look at it Okay, it says, thank you for purchasing. These are the instructions here. And these are the glasses. That said three AAA batteries, but I think this has an internal rechargeable battery. Okay, so this is the headband here. It's kind of like a pair of glasses. This is the nose bridge. USB cable. Here's a strap that clips in somewhere. I wanna see what we have here. So you can use these here, or these will come out like so, and you can put the strap on there. So you can use either the regular glasses parts or a strap to hold it to your head. Then we have the lenses in a little box here. Like so. I like that feature. I'll probably use this in my shop and I can get dust in my shop. So it's nice that the lenses can be protected from dust in here, ready to use later. We have a cleaning cloth. This is the light, I think. There we go. So this is the low setting, the high setting, and off. It looks like that's adjustable here. So I'm going to read through the instruction manual, then we'll take a closer look at all of this stuff. Okay, so I played with this a little bit. So I took a little tool and pried this off, and there's a lithium battery in here. I wasn't completely sure because the box made it sound like there might be AAA batteries, but I think that was for a previous version of this. So lithium batteries are really good, so it lasts a long time, doesn't weigh much. And the light here can angle, like so. And also the lens can angle. So you can go all the way down here, all the way up here. So while you're wearing these, you can tilt them up to get them out of the way of your face. And then you can aim the light at whatever you're working with. And then the lens will move forward and backwards with this. This is a little tricky to adjust. So when it's on my face, I'll kind of pry against something like the front to move it just a little bit like that. And it has these arms here, but Reading the manual, it sounds like the strap is probably the better option if you're going to be wearing it for a long time. So the lenses here have markings in the case with 1x, the one and a half. I forget the exact size I said them earlier. And there's a little curve on the lens. So I'll clip that in. So that clips in pretty easily. To take it out, I just kind of squeeze and roll my fingers forward to pop it off. But it fits pretty secure and it's easy to put in and take out. So the tricky part with this was getting the focal length. So you have to kind of move your workpiece, you know, forward and back and then move this forward and back. Let's see. I think what I'll do is I'll actually just kind of put the lens up against the camera. It's kind of hard to have it on here. But you can imagine what it's like with the light on. You can shine the light on what you're looking at and look through the lens at the same time. So here's a lens. You can kind of see both there. So that's the 1x. Let's jump up to the most power here. It 
So that's the three, three and a half X, I think it is. And let's just go to the middle one. So I'm going to put one of these on here. I'll do the middle one and I'll put this on my head and I'll show it on my head. Okay, I have this on my head. So as you wear it just like glasses, this is pretty comfy here. That's pretty close up against my, that actually fits me very well actually. It's, there's not really much of a gap in here. So this moves up and down. So this is kind of, if I'm looking straight forward, if I'm looking down a little bit, I think that's as far down as it'll go right there. The lens will go in more, but it doesn't fit my face. So if that's straight ahead, that's down, and then that's up a bit. I guess I could kind of look up with that, but if I want it out of the way, I can do that. And then you have the light here, and that has two modes. So that's, I think the, yeah, okay. So that's the softest, that's the brightest. And then you can tilt that down. So I don't know how, if I, let's see. So I can aim that right at what I'm looking at there. Okay, so this is the strap. And I didn't find this to be super easy to swap this out. It wasn't incredibly difficult. It's just, I don't know that I'd want to do it regularly. You know, I'd probably pick the strap or the, the uh, other parts and just stay with them. So this is almost all the way out. Tighten it just a little bit. And I don't know if the ear pieces were less comfortable than this. I think they're about the same. So this is kind of how I adjust it. I press in on it like that, or I put my thumbs behind it and press forward. So I can do like one click at a time. So everything's blurry to me right now, but if I put something up close, I can see it better. It makes it a lot bigger, so it's easier to read. So that's the Yocto Sun magnifier. I think this is going to come in handy, especially when I do phone repairs and things like that. I also want to use it with scroll sawing and other intricate work. But this could be used for jewelry, you know, just art in general. You could use it for reading things. I think this is a good option for people whose vision is failing them and also people that just want to work on really small things. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.